Hello and welcome back to Dicebreaker, where today we are back in the studio for our first Let's Play post... Well, I say post pandemic, it's still going on, hence the, <laughs> the gloves that we're wearing and the fact that we are standing on the opposite side of the room to each other. But we are going to be playing um, a little game called Infinity. This is our first Miniatures game playthrough, so bear with us, it'll be a little bit weird for us. This is Corvus Belli's Infinity Code 1, which is a new set of rules for Infinity. Uh, they had three mainline editions before this, but this is basically a, not only a teaser for the fourth edition, but it's a more streamlined, beginner-friendly version of the rulebook. I am joined by the ineffable Dean Abdu. Hello, buddy. The it's incredible me. incredible boy. How are you doing, my friends? I'm all right. How are you? We're back in the We're studio. We're back in the studio. We've been doing... Um, you, you will know of Dean now, of course, through, through Dungeon Breaker. Yes. Um, but Dean loves, loves to play a ball game. I do, I uh, do. But this is your first seven minutes this game, Dean. I know, and I'm very, very scared, because this could either go very well or very, very bad. To be, right, so just to, like, set this up already, this is the first time Dean has played a miniatures game, especially on camera, uh, and I have played a fair few games of Infinity. So, if you're rooting for the underdog, <laughs> then point that direction. But we're going to be playing with the Infinity Code 1 Operation Coldstrom starter set which means that some of the buildings that we have in front of us here, um, basically these big chunky ones, as well as some of the little barriers and adverts and stuff. Do you want to get the camera and we'll get some close-ups? We've got a little close-up cam here to show you all the bits that we're doing. So all of these sort of coloured buildings that are made of thick cardboard come in the starter set. Um, we've used a few bits of terrain from other sets. So for example, you'll see like these um, uh, thin cardboard boxes, like these boys just sort of lit around. These guys have come from um, a few of the previous editions of Infinity Start sets. Um, we've got some cars from like a, um, I think it's a Walking Dead board game, as well as a few bits from the Marvel Pro 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 Crisis Protocol, Jesus. Uh, and then the board that we're playing on is from Games Workshop. So we've got a few different bits of scenery, um, but if you buy the box set for Infinity Code 1, you get all of the miniatures that we're playing with today, uh, the thick cardboard um, buildings, as well as these barriers and advert boards and stuff. Um, a rule set, all the tokens, dice, like pretty much everything that you need. Even comes with little pop-out rule um, rulers to, to use for measuring and stuff like that. So it's a good little starter set. It also comes with like a plastic, um, plasticky paper board that you can just fold out and you can play on top of that. Uh, but we've got a few bits to sort of, you know, just make it a little bit nicer on camera, Dean. I think it's looking pretty good. It's looking well good. If you get, yeah, if you get like a sort of down the line shot. So we're playing on like a street here. Um, you can see that we've got sort of cars that have crashed in the distance. There's buildings either side of the road. Um, if we were to play it a law friendly, we're, we're on a planet called Coldstrom, which is like a sort of um, like ice cappy kind of uh, environment. Uh, you're going to be playing as the Pan Oceania, uh, Dean. So you're currently zooming in on some of the troops here. So up front, we have a knockin, who is basically uh, a sort of assault shotgun unit. Uh, you have three fusiliers, which are your sort of standard units. A couple of the models are not painted, just because I didn't have the time, unfortunately. Uh, you have a Knight of Justice, which is an absolute powerhouse. It's going to be destroying pretty much everything it comes in contact with. Uh, at the back there, you've got your Lieutenant, which is an orc troop. Uh, and then you also have your Hospitalier, which is a sword-wielding Doctor Doom who is pretty cool and is wearing a, a bit of an Assassin's Creed outfit. Um, on my side, you'll notice that I've got less models on the board because I've got a few people in camouflage. So, for example, if you look here, Dean, or here, um, or just behind that barrier there, you can see that I've got a few camouflage markers down, which basically show that these guys are in like stealth camo, so they're invisible to the naked eye. Um, there's a bits of equipment that can help you spot them, but also you have to use an action to be able to discover them. Um, so these guys are, are the ones that are currently off the board. We've got my Lieutenant, which is... I'm going to get the, the names up here because I always forget them. Uh, one second. So we have a Hunden and an Ambush unit, which is uh, basically a sniper unit. She's got a multi-spectral visor, which allows her to see uh, through cover and stuff like that better. Um, we've got my Lieutenant, who is the Dalfei Tactical, tactical Selection. Um, he has a Spitfire, which is kind of like a heavy weapon. And then I've also got this shotgun dude here who is my Guilang um, Skirmisher, I think. He's got a boarding shotgun, he's got anti-personnel mines. He's pretty dope. So those guys are going to be starting the game in active camo. Then I've got three bog standard units, just like Dean has, which are the ones that are slightly less painted. 
Uh, and just hiding, you might have just spotted him there, just hiding there in between those two, um, two crates, I've got my uh, Korean Jujak uh, heavy flamethrower dude, who is going to be pretty scary, hopefully. So that's the, the sort of startup. We've, we've done all of the, the preparation for the game, um, but let me take you through how this game works. So, Dean, if you just have a little look at this um, orders and ARO section, and just feel free to point at the stuff that I'm talking about. So, this was a, um, a fan-made little explainer sheet, by the way, so thank you to the person. I will put a link in the description if you want to have a look at this for yourself. But we essentially are going to have a few orders that we can use. So I'll just use this flamethrower to point. So you can see that we've got um, lieutenant and regular orders over here. So basically for every troop that you have on the board, you get an order. So unlike most miniatures games, those orders can be spent on anyone, excluding the lieutenant order, which obviously has to be spent on the lieutenant himself. I'm going to flip between lieutenant and lieutenant throughout this entire Let's Play Dean because I always do that. Oh, no. um, I'm going to flip this over so it's more like a pointer. Look at this! Even comes with this in the box, a little pointer flame. Pointy, pointy. Pretty handy. So those regular orders can be spent in a number of different ways. They can either be spent on two movement skills, they can be spent on a movement and a short skill, or they can be spent on a full order skill. So movement is pretty standard. You can um, do nothing, you can try and discover hidden people, you can move around, or you can jump. Your short skills are the most common ones that you'll be using. So you've got things like ballistic skill attack, which is shoot, CC attack, which is stab, dodge, which is get out of the way, Place deployable, which is put down a mine. Reset, which is to rotate if you're facing the wrong way and someone hits you. Uh, there's engineer units, there's hacker units, and there's medic units as well. The only one that we're gonna be using out of those three are the medics, which are pretty straightforward. They're gonna revive people who are unconscious. And then the entire order skill, we can do things like jumping and climbing over buildings. Um, we can go back into camouflage, which I didn't realize we can do, so let's not use that. We've got things like parachutists who can drop down onto the board um, mid-game, and we've got combat jumps as well, which I think launch you straight into CC. So we're not going to be doing a whole load of those ones, um, but suffice to say that we're going to be doing a lot of the, of the green ones. A lot of shooting, a lot of stabbing, Dean. I'm excited to stab and shoot. <laughs> so the way that this game works is every troop has um, a little unit profile, which we're going to be using the Code 1 Army app for. So um, if you use I think if you just swipe to the left a little bit and then you can use some of the stats there. Um, look that one. So we've got, um, this is an orc troop, so this is the, the Lieutenant Dean. So they've got things like the movement at which they, the speed at which they move, sorry. They've got their CC ability, which is close combat. They've got their ballistic skill ability, which is BS. Physical, uh, willpower, armor, BTS, WS, and ADA. But the main ones are, BS is how good you are at shooting. CC is how good you are at stabbing. Physical is anything that is a physical interpretation of your body. So if you're trying to revive someone, you use their physical stats. If you're trying to dodge, you use your physical stats. It's basically how physically fit you are. Willpower is the mental equivalent of that. So if you're trying to hack or you're trying to use a doctor's skill or anything like that, you'll use your willpower. And then armor and BTS are basically your saving throws against things that hurt you. And W is your wounds, which is how many times you can get hit before you die. So that's essentially the things that we're going to be using the most. Um, most of the things on the board have one wound, which means if they get hit, they're dead. Apart from the special units, which sometimes have two. That's pretty much all we've got to work with. So this is definitely a game of, you know, like, people are fragile, so you need to protect them. So Dean, do you remember most of the rules of how to play from our tutorials? I remember the general gist of how to play. The general gist? <laughs> I the think I've got it. Fine. I think we, you're going to be sort of like the like the audience is going to live vicariously through you <laughs> because although you've got a bit of information, they've probably got none if they're new to the game. So cool. We're going to be uh, explaining things a lot. We are playing a game mode called Supplies, in which there are three supply boxes on the board. We are going to have to grab those supply boxes, and they're basically flags that we capture. So if a unit gets over to them, we'll grab this guy. If he gets over to it in base-to-base -base contact, he can do a, a short skill action to pick it up which means that will follow him around the board. You can then use that to pass it off to other units. If you get dropped, so if you go unconscious or die, people can pick it up your body. Um, and essentially that means that you're in control of the token as long as it is touching your unit. If at the end of the game, I have more supply boxes in control than Dean does, then I win and vice versa. So no points for kills, no points for certain areas under control. It is all about the supply boxes. Got it. It's the most important thing in the game. So, that's where we are. We're ready to start. 
We've already done our rolls, which means I'm going to be taking the first turn because you selected for me to go first. Mm -hmm. So therefore, let's kick this thing off. We both have seven units, which means we get seven regular orders. We've got a lieutenant order for our leader, so we have eight actions throughout the game. The cool thing about Infinity is, whenever I do an order, as long as Dean can see the model that's moving, any of his models that can see it can react to it. So if somebody were to walk down this road here, and then all five of these units over here suddenly had him in line of sight, then all of them can shoot me. So in this game, you're never not doing anything. So it's, you know, if you play something like Warhammer, you just kind of sit there and, and just try not to die. Mm. Whereas in this game, you are lying in wait, ready to shoot. You just can't move them yourself. So let's kick things off. I'm going to spend my first regular order. I am going to do a move and um, a short skill to pick up the supply box. So I've got a little camouflage unit over here, Dean. Um, this unit can move without revealing who it is, although it's probably pretty clear who it is. Um, this unit can move 4-4, four, four, which means that the first move it does is 4 inches, the second move it does is 4 inches. Some people will be 6-2 or 2-6 or whatever, so you have to use both of the orders to, to get the full range of movement. Um, so I'm just going to move less than 4 inches over to the supply box, and then I'm going to pick it up. So this supply box is now, I'm just going to put it underneath it so you can see. Um, the supply box is now under control by this camouflage unit, um, and that was an entire order. So my next order, all your troops are currently like right here. Yeah. If I had a grenade, this would be amazing. I know, <laughs> I know. Right, Me. okay, so. It's fine. I'm going to uh, move this guy over here. So use my regular order to move my flamethrower troop, because I think visually this is all covered down here. So he has a movement of Jack. 6 2. He's a speedy boy. So he's gonna. So anything that is below um, half height or below the model, you can just bolt over. So he's just gonna move through this all the way up to this bin over here. I'm gonna take him out of this color here and put him behind this guy. Then. My third order is going to be spent on the camouflaged unit next to him, uh, who has a movement. Don't look, Dean. I'm not looking. He's got a I'm movement of 6 2. Um, so he's going to move one inch out of the corner and then just. He's facing away, so he's fine. Your line, line of sight is only what you can see in front of you in this game. Um, yeah, then he's going to move the final five up to here. Then I'm going to spend another order on the same dude, who is going to... I think he's just going to move up to here for three. And then... Yeah, it's great. He's just going to end his movement there. So that was an entire order to move. Can you tell what's probably going to happen here, dude? Yeah, I can see what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Not feeling too good. I'm going to spend my lieutenant order, um, because it's this guy. He is going to move the full six to just wrap around here and basically charge into your dude. <sighs> so both of these guys are going to be able to do a reaction. Yep. Because they're both visible. This person is facing away, this person's facing away, and this person's facing away. Yeah. Because you have to have line of sight. OK. But he's going to come into melee combat. Cool. He's Great. He's going to have a surprise attack means it's going to be, um, you're going to take a minus three to hit. But what do you want to do? So both this model and this model can react because this person, I think, yeah, is, is literally, so it's literally 180 degrees. So I am technically in your line of sight. So you can Good. shoot me if you want. I'm absolutely going to shoot you. Okay. I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you hard. Are you shooting me with both? Uh, yes, I am. So I'm going to shoot that guy first. All right, so um, I'm going to declare uh, a CC attack. I'm just going to scooch into the camera here. So close combat attack um, against the person that is against uh, my model. So I have to be in touching distance to be able to hit someone like that. Um, you're going to shoot back with both of them? Yes. Which means that this guy gets to roll unopposed. OK, great. So what weapon has he got? He has got the, uh, oh, oh no, bear with. <laughs> We're wearing gloves, it's making it very difficult oh. to use our phones. Uh, 
combi rifle, cool. Combi rifle, okay. Yeah. So you're gonna get a plus three to shoot. Okay, cool. So every weapon has an effective range. Basically, if you're in range, you get bonuses. If you're out of range, you get minuses. Um, so you're gonna get plus three to shoot. Mm -hmm. um, I have surprise attack, because I've just done an attack out of camo. Okay. Which means you take minus three, so that balances that out to the plus zero again. Um, and then I think this guy has mimetism as well. So, check. yeah, he's got mimetism minus three as well. So okay. you're at a minus three to hit. Great. But you're rolling unopposed. Okay. So your ballistic skill attack is? Uh, 13, take away three, so it's 10. So you need a 10 or lower on a okay. D20 to hit me. Uh, when you're bad. reacting, you only ever use one dice. Okay. 10 or lower, come on, lucky. 10 or lower. Two. That's a two. That is a two, so that hits. <laughs> So now that the bullet has hit me, I then need to roll uh, an armor save, basically. So I look at my model. He has an armor of four, and the damage of the weapon is... The damage of the weapon is... I think it's 13, but... Yeah, I think you're right. Just give me a second with these gloves to... <laughs> Do you want me to look? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Have you got them tight enough? They're really, like, baggy. I, I mean, why. I'm... Tiny hands, Lee. Little, little baby hands. <laughs> Tiny uh, hands. Combi rifle has a damage. Thirteen. Of yeah. So, thirteen minus four is nine. Uh, I'm not in cover, so I don't get any more minuses for that. So when you're making an armor save, you need to beat the number instead. So I need a ten or higher. It only hit me once, so I only get one dice to roll. That's a fourteen, which means that I've saved it. <sighs> Next up, this is your person shooting at me, yep. and my person stabbing you, which means we're going to roll against each other. Which means that whoever gets the better successes is the one who's going to succeed. We only get one die each. You're going to be using your ballistic skill. Okay. Uh, of your, this is a, um, one of your normal tricks, Fusilier, right? yes. Fusiliers. Uh, and I'm going to be using my CC skill, which for my lieutenant is 19. Oh so he's pretty good at stabbing people. God. So unless I roll a 20, I'm fine. Um, you've got minus six plus three. So you've got minus three total. So I gotta get nine or yep. lower. And the reason for that is surprise attack because I've just come out of camouflage. Uh, my mimetism, which is basically active camo, um, is minus six. And because you're in effective range, you get plus three. So you need to roll your stat minus three. Got it. Here we go. Three. I got a 17. So I think that's a better success than yours. No. Um, so, whenever you're comparing results, only one person can ever succeed. Uh, any result that is better than another one cancels the other one out. So, if you rolled a three, a four, and a five, and I rolled a six, my six would cancel all of those out. Whereas, if you rolled a six, a three, and a four, and I rolled a five, then my five would cancel out your three and fours, but the six would go through and cancel out my five, which means that you would succeed. Right. In this case, because I've got the better success, I go through. So, I'm going to hit you with my CC weapon. My CC weapon has the damage of my physical stat, basically. So how strong I can hit you with it. Okay. It's 14. Right. Um, I don't think he's got anything special on top of that. No, it's just a standard CC weapon. So it's 14 damage. How much armor does your piece of have? One. one. So you minus one from that, which is 13. Okay. So you need to get a 14 or higher to defend against it. Come on, 14 or higher. 17! That's a 17. Yeah. But now you'll notice, I am now in close quarters combat. Yes. Because your guy can't shoot me anymore. So any fight after this, it's just mano with mano, sword be sword. Um, okay. Right, next up, let's think about this. This was a pretty ballsy move from me. <laughs> but I wanna, I wanna do something a little bit more wild, so that, because if, if I'm gonna play really conservative, then I feel like it's gonna be unfair because Okay. Game, okay. 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 So I'm, I'm going to go a little bit crazy. Um, with that in mind, I've got those guys distracted now. So now I've got three orders left. I'm going to spend one on my big dude over here. So he's got a total of eight movement. He's going to do all of his move to go all the way up to the stairs. And then I'm going to spend a second order. So I've got one remaining after this, uh, and he is going to vault onto the stairs. He's just going to go up to here, which is one inch. He's going to use an extra five inches to get up here in cover from your guy anyway, but with line of sight. Your dude is facing away from him. 
which means that you can't hit me back. Yep. So the only reaction that you can call is reset, which basically allows him to rotate, or you can dodge. Uh, I'm reset. Yeah? I'm reset. Okay, so reset is a free action. It just allows the person to change their facing so that the next time I act against them, they actually get to hit back. But it does mean, Dean, that I now get to attack you without any dice coming back against me. I'm rolling unopposed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look too confident about that. I, uh, uh, you know what? It could be worse. Okay. So, one thing that's handy for you is you have mimetism minus six, because your dude is very, very cool. He has got a lot of camouflage on. Um, you're also covered, but you're not touching the thing that's covering you, so you're not in cover. So you have to be in base-to-base -base contact with something for it to be considered cover. Um, so, I am going to be rolling, so let's see. I've got my Jujak, who is using a combi rifle, so he's plus three because he's in range. Mm -hmm. He has a ballistic skill of 13, um, minus six, so in total I've got minus three, which is 10. So I need 10 to lowest to hit. Okay. And because I am on my active turn and I'm using an assault rifle, it's got a burst of three, which means I get three dice to try and hit him. I'm regretting my choices. <laughs> <laughs> that is two hits, one of which is a critical. So that's three armor saves. Whenever you roll the exact stat you need, it's a crit. Okay, so three armor saves, my armor is Two. Your armor is two. Um, it's a combi rifle, so damage is 13. Okay. So minus two is 11. So I need to get 11 or higher or lower? You need 12 or higher on all three dice. Okay. So it's, it's a tough roll. You're rolling with double disadvantage, basically. <sighs> okay. 19. Four. That's one, right? That's a one. Okay. So, Dean. <laughs> Oh, look at him! I can't kill his units, I've too bad! <laughs> so, you've taken two wounds. Okay. How many wounds can you sustain with that character? One. One. Is, is he dead? He's dead. <laughs> oh, no! So, if you ever go uh, to zero, zero wounds, so zero health, you are unconscious, which means that somebody can come along and they can revive you. If you go below zero, which is what happens to Dean right now, you're dead. <laughs> do, do, do. Do, do, do. Just going to take him off the board. Do, do, Just put him over do, here. Do, 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 that means you're going to lose an order. Hang on. Oh, <laughs> bless him. Can we have some Fs in the chat for the knocking? Uh, okay. Yeah, I right. made some bold choices. So I've got one order left. Um, do you know what? I'm just going to I'm just gonna move this guy over here. So I'm just going to do a full order. To move over here. Uh, in cover, so ready for anyone that's going to come up against him. Okay? Okay. So we move over to Dean's turn. I take camera responsibility. And it is over to you, my friend. Interesting. Right. All right. So I am going to drop a die. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to start. Well, I, re I immediately want to address this situation. <laughs> Which situation is that, Dean? Uh, this guy about to stab my, well, try oh, to stab him again. Oh, you mean this situation? That situation. <laughs> yeah, uh, that is my lieutenant. He's in an incredibly dangerous place. So <laughs> I, I think you're actually a little bit better off than you think you are. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to move him, like... I've got the camera trained on you, by the way, so if you want to speak to the audience... You know, I'm going to I'm gonna move this guy to be, like, directly behind you. Okay. Uh, which is like he's on this movement of four, which is, yeah, that's enough. So, right there. So you're going to come into... Close combat. I just want to stab you in the back so hard right now. <laughs> so, um, what's interesting here, and this is what happened with your other guy as well. Yeah. So you can only perform a reaction order on someone that you have line of sight to. Mm -hmm. Every trooper on the board, though, has an eight-inch circle around them of basically like their senses, right? Because, sure, I might not be able to see the guy who's two seconds behind me, but I can hear him, right? So I can react, but I can only do things that I can do without line of sight, which is I reset which is the one that you did, where yeah. I can turn around, or I can try and dodge. Okay, So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna react with... I think I'm gonna reset, because I think if I just place myself sideways, I should be able to have you both in line of sight. Oh, so... Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to just move him like this. So technically, you are both in line of sight right now. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, so I'm now, I'm going to, I'm just going to attack you. I just want to stab you <laughs> uh, with the filament sword. Oh, amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, so Dean's character has a monofilament weapon, close combat weapon, which is basically a sword that is so strong that if any hit gets through, it kills me, which is... Yeah. It's pretty mean. <laughs> I mean, it is, but you took out a good shotgun guy. <laughs> I did. I did take out your cool so, shotgun guy. This okay, is so you're rolling revenge. out because I just did a reset. Cool. Great. So uh, that is... So damage is... Where am I? 12. You just need your physical stat on your character. Yeah. So get rid of that. Go to... Not that. I'm just going to get the live camera footage of Dean struggling to use his phone with the gloves on. I got it. So, uh, close combat. Uh, it's 20. So, what? <laughs> it's 20. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And your hospitality has a CC stat of 20. Yeah. He's amazing. I thought the shotgun guy was good, but this guy's incredible. So, um, so you can't fail. Yeah, unless. But if you get a 20, you crit, which means that you'll hit me twice. <laughs> cool. Uh, come on, lucky 20. Six. I'll take, six. I mean, so you've hit me once. Yeah. What is the damage on a monofilament CC weapon? It was twelve. Uh, is it your physical stat? Uh, I guess so. Yeah. What, where's physical? Eleven. No. You want to check? Yeah, please. Oh, I just hit record by accident. That's fun. <laughs> Gonna have two bits of footage now. So that's <laughs> okay. So we, we're back. We've just done a little rules check, and the damage is twelve. So. Do you now do? Yeah. Do you want to take the camera quickly whilst I do a little, little safety roll? <laughs> so this yeah, is. Turns out. Um, this is one hit. Damage 12. Uh, I have an armor, and it's going against my armor safe. I have an armor of um, four. Mm -hmm. So that is eight damage. So I need a nine or higher on this die to survive. Because if I roll an eight or lower, he's straight up dead. Okay. Which is horrible. I can't wait. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! Oh! What was it? What That's it? a nine. Oh! oh God! It's not focusing! Focus on the nine! <laughs> <laughs> that is a nine. Yeah, there we go. That is uh, literally one away from dying, man. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, but that was just your first order, right? Yeah. So you can just do that again. I'm going to obviously do that again. <laughs> <laughs> but this time I can react. So okay. now we're going to roll off. Okay, cool. so. Um, so we've got a die each. Um, I'm obviously going to declare a CC attack so mm -hmm. that we're both attacking each other. Um, let me take the camera. So just, this is your turn. So you have a stat of 20. Yep. I have a stat of 19. So oh. it's basically whoever gets the higher number. Okay. Oh, God. Oh boy, all right. If we um, want to get technical. Who can <laughs> say where the lonely ones? <laughs> oh no. That's 15 versus three, which means that I have hit Dean. That's why in this game, you can't just keep stabbing someone because you're putting yourself at risk as well as you being, uh, put, you putting the other person at risk as well. Yeah, lessons learned. Lesson is learned. So Dean, you're now going to take an armor save. Although, lucky for you, I don't have a monof monofilament CC weapon, which means that I'm not going to kill you straight up. Thank God. So, um, damage is physical for me. Physical stat of my Dalfe unit is 14. Um, so 14 minus your armor. Uh, so it's two, so it's 12. Okay, so. so you need a 13 or higher to survive. Come on. I don't want to lose another big boy. <sighs> How many wounds you got on that character, Dean? Uh, one. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I, I sacrificed my medic. <laughs> my medic's gone. Well, I mean, look, he's good at combat, but also he shouldn't really be getting into fights because then who's going to revive him? But <laughs> you have got your, um, you have got your Zanshi, uh, not Zanshi, that's my guys. Your, what are your box and troops for? Facilia. Facilia is, yeah. You've got your Facilia there who is a paramedic, so he could try and heal him. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, um, which he'll do. But you will have to try and get out of combat with me, because I can just shoot you if you try and run away. <laughs> this is the problem. Oh, boy. So you put yourself in a tricky situation. This is why I wanted to get my general back there, because he's, or my left hand rather, because he's a little bit tricky to deal with. You know, he's okay. probably not going to survive till the end of the game, but it's going to be it's going to be tough. So, so um, take one of your orders for next turn. And put unconscious on it. Yeah. Yep. So you're going to lose an order next turn. Okay. Um, so now you've got six remaining if you include your left hand. So okay. What would you like to do? I would like to <sighs> cry, <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to move. My, that's my left tenant, ain't it? No, is that my left tenant? Your left tenant's the one behind the building, yeah. That one, yeah. cool. Guy uh, with the, the sick ass brown jacket. <laughs> I'm gonna move him. Um, Very cool. I was struggling to focus. Because he's just so, so cool, the camera can't even focus on him. So, left tenant order. Uh, I'm gonna move him. Hmm. I think what I wanna do here. Oh, oh this is interesting. Is that I wanna. I can, if you go there, I am facing that direction, so I will be able to react with my... Lips. Okay, that's cool, because what I want to do is so I want to... get three dice to my one, right? So. I want to dip out, pop, ah, pop, you're going, you're pop going a shot. off the board, Dean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. I'll tell you what, mate. It's the first game. Thanks. Let's just move the building. <laughs> <laughs> so, back to what I wanted to do. The lad's already lost a tree. Let's, let's be nice to him. Okay, so... So you're going to move up to the corner of the wall. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to. Gonna... You're just just going to get yourself in line of sight. Yeah. So if you move out the way, we can actually check the line of sight with the camera. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound that so rude. Get out you the get way. Get out the goddamn <laughs> way, Dean. So you can see that there's just like this little dip here where the lieutenant is uh, is aiming his shot up, and we're just going to try and shoot into that little conflict over there. Ah, oh, these minis look so good on camera, by the way. Um, <laughs> a big thank you to Corvus Valley for sending these over to us uh, because they also pre-constructed them for me and based them, which made my life a lot easier. Because if you can see they're already only half painted, so if, if they had been in any other state, we'd barely get it on the board. So. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna react by firing at you. And now you declare your second short skill. Uh, my second short skill is, uh, I'm gonna shoot you. So two ballistic skill attacks against each other. Uh huh. Um, so I'm gonna be rolling one dice, but you have what weapon, Dean? I got the Morsi rifle. What is cool about the Mozzie rifle, Dean? Uh, that there's various different modes. There is. So which mode are you going to pick? I am going to choose, uh, if I go to list, uh, burst. Burst. I'm going to burst fire you. You're going to burst fire me. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's have a little look at the, the profile of that. What, is, what does burst fire mean? Burst fire means I can roll all three die right to take a, mm -hmm. take a cheeky little pop shot at, at pop the gonna shoot you with cool. three bursts. So basically, you've got two options. Okay. You've either got, or maybe there's more than, more than that actually, but the ones that are on screen right now. Oh no, but it's, it's alphabetical, right? These are the only options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the multi-rifle can either be shot in burst mode, which gives you the full three dice, which means that he's rolling three dice against my one. Um, but that also means that you're using uh, armor piercing ammunition, which halves my armor value. So it takes my four down to two. It's very, very strong. Um, then you've got the anti-material mode instead, which has a double action ammo, which instead of armor piercing, it means that every single hit counts as two hits. So you can either bank on getting at least one to hit with just one die, or you can roll all three and hope that they go through with the armor piercing. So it's... Yeah. All, th all three, armor piercing. Armor piercing let's comes. Get, okay, so get rid of that. Let's have a look at the stats. That's so it. I've got mimetism minus three, and you're behind cover, so you've got minus three. Mm -hmm. um, so it's basically minus threes across the board, but we're both in effective range, I think. Although, this is the first time I've shot with this guy. He has, he's got a Spitfire, and the effective range on a Spitfire is, um, has to be at least eight inches away. So let's have a look at this. Oh, no. So that's for me, sorry, not for you. Yeah, so I'm not in effective range right now. Oh, no. That's good for you, Dean. Oh, is it good? Okay, yeah. good. I thought, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Why would me not being in effective range be bad for you, Dean? I don't know. I'm panicking, <laughs> all right? <laughs> so, um, that basically means that um, I'm getting minus three to my shooting stat, whereas you're just getting your flat zero. Got so it. That's very good for you. Um, so, 
Let me just look at my ballistic skill. I have a ballistic skill of 13, which means that I need a 10 or lower. You have... 14. 14, which means that you need a 14 or lower. You've got three dice and I've only got one, so you're in a pretty good position right here, Dean. Let's see so how it turns out. Rolls. Ooh. That's... 20. A 20, which is definitely a crit fail. That's... Uh, but a 7 and a 9, and an 8. So, whilst I haven't managed to... So basically, the 20 is, is a fail, because 20 is higher than the number that Dean was trying to get. Um, all the others are successes because they're all under the numbers we were both trying to get. My eight is better than your seven, so the seven doesn't hit. But your nine is better than my eight, which means I get hit with one bullet. Yeah. It's all pretty simple, right? It's all pretty, you know, pretty slick, pretty easy to figure out once you get the hang of it. So, Dean, I'm going to have to make an armor save, so please tell me what the damage of a multi rifle is. Damage of a multi rifle is, is 13. 13. Yeah. So, 13 minus two, not four, because it's armor piercing which sucks for me. Okay. Um, so I am going to be rolling um, to try and get a 12 or higher. But cool. I do have two wounds, so it won't kill me outright. <laughs> okay, my lieutenant is now wounded. So I'm going to pick up one of these wounded markers, just put it next to him just to, to show that this guy is now wounded, uh, which means he has one health left. So if Dean were to, for example, shoot me again, there is a high chance that he might go unconscious or die. Uh-huh. Um, and you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to shoot you again. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's not very nice, is it? Uh, cool. All right. Yeah, that one's yeah. good. So that's an example where, so if that was a double action round that had gone through, mm -hmm. that would have put me unconscious because it would have counted as two wounds rather than one. Right. Example. So that's, cool. that's the benefit of the double action version. Nice. Like you only get one bullet, which is the problem. Yeah. So, um, you're shooting me again, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So, let's grab one of the dice. Same stats, so I need a 10 or lower, you need a 14 or lower. That is two, two successes, yep. but one of them is a one, so I can, I can at least try to avoid one. <laughs> and if I get a 10, it's a crit, so I'll win. But apart from that, I'm just trying to get higher than a one. But, I mean, a one will do anyway, I think, so I can't figure out. That is a crit! No! That's a 10! <laughs> oh! Take a bullet, Dean! Oh! Oh, Dean Abdu! Dean Abdu, you came up, you came up against the big man. That's uh, what happens. No! That's what happens when you come up against the big man. Okay. All right, well. so that is a crit, which counts as two hits. Okay, my armor is full. You have four armor. I'm using Spitfire. The Spitfire has uh, 14 damage. So. And you're going to take away your armor from that. So 10. And now, this, for the first time, you are in cover. Uh huh. Because you get an, an additional minus three to okay. damage. Okay. Cool. Which is seven. Seven. So. so you're going to need to get an eight or higher on two dice. Okay. To avoid a wound. Oh, okay. I got faith. If you get eight or lower, uh, if you get seven or lower on both dice, then you go unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen and nineteen, baby. Sixteen and nineteen, that'll do ya. That will do ya. Yeah. So, how many um, orders you got left, Dean? Uh, I have. So, that, so that was that, the that one, was your was second it? second shot. So, right? I still got. Four. Oh, what about? Oh yeah. Yeah, because you okay. attacked. You attacked with the guy with the sword twice, mm -hmm. and you attacked with your lieutenant twice, and one of those is now an unconscious marker on your dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, three more orders. <laughs> uh. Do I want to do it again? What do you want to do? Dude? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You have to tell me uh, what you want to do. I want to. Okay, I. Mm, okay, I'm going to turn this guy around. Um, Which guy's that? This guy. That guy over there. Yeah. Okay. So I want to. He is out of my line of sight. So, and I'm going to give you some cool tips here, Dean. Because this character is out of my lieutenant's line of sight, what you could theoretically do is you could move him this way and you could get within base space contacts. I mean, you wouldn't even have to get in base space contact because you can shoot the medkit in this game. So you could get to a range where you could shoot a medkit at your dude to try and revive him. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm obviously going to go shoot a medkit <laughs> at my guy. I need a sword. All right. So cool. let me just see what a medkit's range is. Um, as long as you're within eight inches, you are within effective range, essentially. Cool. Um, You've got a few orders to, to just get there. Just do that, right? Yeah. Okay, so 
Uh, cool. So I'm going to do two short moves with with the person to move them eight. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do two, 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 two. Yeah, about there. Cool. And then next one mm -hmm. is shooting the med kit. Sweet. Do you know what? For the Seeing as we're a professional organisation over here, I'm going I'm to look up the rules for medicates. You ready? <laughs> Using the patented Code 1 rulebook, available now. Um, speaking of which, by the way, the Code 1 rules are available for free online as a PDF, so you can grab those. Um, I will put a link in the description. Uh, but let's have a look. So, medikit, me, 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 medikit. Okay, so, medikit, you get plus three within eight inches, so you're going to get plus three to your ballistic skill to hit. Okay. So. Essentially, um, why would you ever use a medikit in close quarters if you can just shoot it from range? Well, you don't have to try and actually hit the person if you're um, straight up. So if you're in base-to-base -base contact with a unit, that means that you can use the medikit straight away. Um, but if you're at range, that means you have to fire it into them, which means that you have two tests that you need to succeed on. So, okay, cool. Um, so in this case, you are, you've already done your short move. Mm -hmm. um, Feel free to get closer if you want. You might want to be able to get it here. I can use, I can react because you're within my eight inches, but I'm going to stay facing the guy because he's more of a threat to me than than your uh, standard trooper is. Okay, cool. But yeah, I can I can shoot from there, can't I? Yeah. Where did you start your movement? It was there to there. That was one. And now on this second one, you could probably get into base to base if you don't want to risk the, the shooting. It's up to you. Uh. Uh, go on. <laughs> I'll, I'll move in. Uh, that's four inches. Yeah, yeah. it's like there. Cool. Okay, so you have to be in base to base. Oh, literally yeah, base literally to base. Literally has to be touching. Go. Okay, so um, so that means that you don't have to do the ballistic skill attack anymore because you're just going to jab it straight into him. Mm -hmm. um, which means that because you are not a doctor, you are just a paramedic. So there's two levels of the stat the person that you're trying to heal will roll against their physical stat to see if it works. So, so your hospitalia is physical, physical. Let's get yeah. physical, physical. <laughs> so 11, does it have to be 11 uh, or, or lower. Hard, lower? Okay, cool, cool, So cool. if you roll a 12 or higher, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> but there's only, this is the only way to get him back, so. Because he's the only doctor on the board and he's unconscious. <laughs> and Come he can't on. operate on himself, I'm afraid, Dean. Come on, Doc. You could pull through. 11 or lower. I mean, the gloves are very thematic now. Six! Six. Yes! He is back. Oh. So because you've succeeded at that roll, that means he gets one wound back, which puts him back to a standard one. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to take that unconscious uh, token and just add it to your spent orders because you won't be able to spend it this turn. Cool. But it'll be there for your next turn. So now you have uh, one order left, Dean. What would you like to do? <laughs> Is it real bad that I want to stab you again now that he's back up? <laughs> it is pretty, it's pretty baller to get stabbed to a state where you are now like out of action. And then for someone to just come and jab a med kit into you and you get straight back into the fight. It's pretty baller, but it's up to you, dude. I'm going to do that. <laughs> it, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to stab you again. <laughs> uh, cool. All right, monofilament. Sweet, 20. Oh yeah, I remembered. 20. Yeah. And I've got 19. Okay. Oh, I forgot about your f***ing <laughs> Language, Dean! <laughs> I apologise. This is dice I apologize. I'm going to have to beat those up I'm now. so sorry. I'm Honestly. Getting, I'm getting passionate. I'm getting, getting passionate. getting passionate. Okay, here we go. Okay. 11 versus 10. Okay, so Dean has hit me with his monofilament weapon. <laughs> yes! We have gathered the, the weapon has a damage of 12. 12, yeah. Which minus my four armour is... Um, Oh, we already said it was it was eight, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. So, uh, so I need a nine or higher to survive because if it hits me, I'm dead. I mean, it would have been anyway because I've got one wound, but I'm straight up dead. So here we go. That's a twenty, baby. Doesn't get more safe than that, Dean. Uh, no. Doesn't get more safe than that. Okay. Well, I guess you'll see another day. Okay. So, woo! <laughs> Just throwing dice all over the place at this point. So that was round one. We have three rounds to go through, so a round is um, us both having an active turn. Mm -hmm. uh, so it goes back to me now, and then um, after the three turns, we'll determine the winner. 
And remember, Dean, you're getting very distracted over here, which is kind of working for me. I know. I don't know if you can tell, but that's pretty much the tactic I had in mind here. Whilst you're getting distracted with this, I'm just going to pick up all these supply boxes and run away with it. Oh, God. Did I get Okay. Okay, so. Um, I think this guy's just going to stay up here. Oh, yeah, over to you. Sorry. I think this guy's just going to stay up here because he's he's got a shotgun. Oh, I've just revealed who he is. Oh, no, you know who he is because he infiltrated. It's fine. It's my shotgun dude, who is who is currently here. He has camouflage, so you can't see him. Okay. That's, that's who's sitting here. Um, he's already got the supply box, so he's ready to roll on that. Um, but I think if we're gonna if we're gonna win this outright, I need to make sure that you can't get to any of the supply boxes because as soon as you hit one of my troops, like the, the field changes, and you've got I can't believe you haven't used her yet. The most powerful unit on the board, the Knight of Justice. I just want to keep her safe. Sat there <laughs> waiting. She's got like five armor, 23 CC. So yeah. She's, uh, she's so good at stabbing people, her stat is above 20, which means that she gets three um, out of 20 for a chance to crit. So, um, let's kick this thing off. So, I haven't lost anyone. So, I've still got my full um, regular order count. So, I'm going to spend. Don't do it. Do I try and kill off your own dude? Don't do it. <laughs> Problem is, I'd actually, I mean, I've got a Spitfire, which, which is four dice, so I'd actually be better off getting out of combat and shooting you, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, so I might do that. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to just move my, within six inches, obviously, uh, and I'm going to move to here. And I will check that. So yeah, I'm going to move to here. So I'm not in cover whatsoever, but I've got my mimetism, which is basically in cover. Um, just so I've got all of these guys within sight. And also this person is hopefully still far enough away that I don't have to worry about them. And then um, you can react with... Um, so this person doesn't have line of sight. This person did at the time. So this person can only reset or dodge. Mm -hmm. Okay. And these three can react with whatever because they were in line of sight. So everything in Infinity happens at once, which means that whilst I might be out of sight for this guy right now, because I was in sight at the start of the turn, that means that you could have reacted at that point, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not a case of I move and then I shoot, it's I am moving and shooting. That's So you can react at any point, um, which means that I will be out of cover regardless if I duck into cover at the time as well. So Dean, what would you like to do? Let's let's deal with the, the guy who couldn't see me first. What, what's he doing? Reset. He's going to reset. He's okay. going to reset. Nice and simple. He's just going to rotate. And then the other three. Uh, so you've got all your all your reactions are the ones with the little uh, exclamation marks. So you can shoot, you can stab, you can dodge, you can place a deployable, you can reset, or you can hack. So can this person have stabbed while she was moving? I did start the turn in close combat, so yeah. So yeah. That, that's, it's basically like a, you know like in D&D you get your um, attack of opportunity or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So it's basically that, right? You, I was in stabbing range, you stabbed me, then I remember. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stab. Okay. Obviously. Um, so I'm going to divide my bullets up. I'm not going to shoot him because I don't really care about him because he can't shoot me back. So I'm going to put two bullets into this guy just to make sure he can't hit me properly and then one bullet each into this guy and this guy. Okay. So, I'm splitting up my shots, so I'm going to have to borrow a D20, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, actually, we're going to split them anyway, so it's alright, don't worry about it. Okay. okay. So let, let's deal with Stabby first. Yeah? Stabby. Let's all deal right. with Stabby first. So, all you're right. rolling against me. Um, just one die, right? Just one die. Just one die. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't know where that came from. <laughs> um, so, that means that... That's mimetism. One sec. Mm. Little rule check. Okay. Does mimetism stop you from stabbing? Let's see. Or is it just shooting? I think it's just shooting. But so mimetism won't affect your roll. I was at cover. Um, so we're bas basically we're just like flat stats against each other because I'm out of effective range of my Spitfire as well. Which is lower than eight. Uh, so it's whatever your stat is versus whatever my stat is. So I'm using ballistic. You're using you're using CC. Yep. Sweet. Twenty good. Uh, I have 13. So I need you to roll badly, but I've got two dice. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yeah. 
That is a 12. Oh. So I, my 19 obviously fails because it's higher than 13. My 12 is higher than your 10, which means that you take one hit from a Spitfire. Spitfire has 14 damage, minus your armor. So it's 12. OK. Give me a 13 or higher. <gasps> oh. Yes! Oh, he's done it. God damn Look done it. Look at that 14, baby. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, fine. So now we do the other two. Let's start with um, this guy. So we're going to shoot against each other. So one die each. Um, both out of cover. You're in effective range, but I'm not. But you've got uh, a minus three from my mimetism, so we're both in flat again. Okay. So Dean would have got a plus three because his assault rifle is in effective range. But my mimetism, which is my stealth, uh, gives minus three to his hit, so it flats out to zero. I'm out of effective range, and Dean doesn't have any negative modifiers, so I just have zero as well. Cool. So I've got 13. Got uh, 13. 12. 12. It's Fusilier, right? Yeah. Yeah, 12. Okay, 13 versus 12, one die each. Okay, you ready? All right, and... Oh, my one went off the table. Yours <laughs> is six. And yours is one. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So that is uh, 13 damage minus four um, is nine. Yeah. So I need a 10 or higher. Okay. I've only got one wound, so this can put me unconscious. <laughs> There's been some close rolls, Dean. There has been some close rolls. Okay, good. Fantastic. Love that. One more contest left. It's me versus your lieutenant. Okay. It's the lieutenant off. Yeah. Who is the most left? <laughs> okay. Let's so. see how progressive this guy really is, huh? 14. Right. 14 versus 13. Um, you are going to get a minus three from the mimetism, but plus three from your range. You don't have any mimetism on that card, do you? Nope. Nope. That's flat. Cool. 14. Great. 13 v 14. Oh, that's a success for me and a fail for you, Dean! <laughs> so, Spitfire, damage of 14. Okay. Uh, you want to know my armor? What, what, what are we after now? Yeah, Orc Trooper's armor. Four. So, so ten. 14 minus four is 10, so you need an 11 or higher. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh, he goes down to one wound, Dean. Which means that we are even Stevens on the lieutenant. Okay, all right, fine. I mean, you're lucky he's even there. You know, I was nice enough to let you put him there. <laughs> Whatever. I didn't need it. Didn't need him anyway. That was my first order. I'm going to spend my lieutenant order to do that one. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my second order to just move this guy over here and pick up the box. So you just pick that up. Oh, yeah, I forgot that was gold. Uh, yeah, yeah, you need to remember that, dude. <laughs> um, and then, oh, actually, technically, I can move in, pick up the box, and move back. Because as I said, everything is happening at the same time. So you could move half of your movement, shoot someone, and then go back again. So you could duck in and out of cover, for example. OK. Uh, so this guy is going to do that. He's going to move in and out of cover to just pick the box up. So that he's now carrying that. It's under control. Uh, and now I need to focus on this guy in the middle. So what are we going to do here? Um, oh, do you know what I've just realized, Dean? Well, have you just realized? Do you know what I've just realized? No. Did you realize that my sniper rifle wielding? No. <laughs> you see uh, this guy over here. What? She sat here. No. <laughs> so she's going to do a little surprise attack, I think. So I'm just going to remove her camo marker, which is going to give you a minus three to hit her back. Although you are not facing her, so that's going to be difficult for you. Um, can your Ocitalia see her? I think she can. You can, sorry. Uh. I don't think so, you know? I can see him, which makes me think that he can probably see her. Okay. Because um, line of sight is not blocked by other units. Yeah. I think we can see each other. Okay. So... Oh, yeah. He cannot react because he is out of eight inches and turning the wrong way, whereas he can. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Great. <laughs> cool. Great. Yeah. Good. <laughs> he's like, he's, Love it. He's got a pistol. What is he going to do with that? <laughs> So, what was your? Um, and do you know what actually? What's her? Movement? Oh no, he's got a combi rifle. Okay. Her movement's four four. How tall is this thing? Go the wrong way around. 
Yeah, she's just going to jump down, actually, before she does her shot. So you can definitely see her now. Um, so yeah, she is going to fire her marksman rifle, which has um, a burst of three, but its effective range is between eight and 24 inches. So th for the first time, Dean, I'm getting out for the tape measure. <laughs> So as long as it's within this, it should be fine. Okay, so... I think uh, it's just about out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in effective range. So I'm going to get a... Um, what am I saying? What am I saying, Dean? I'm going to get a plus three. Okay. Um, what is your uh, hospitalia will be? Uh, or Infirmera, sorry. I keep calling him a Hospitalia because he looks like a, a Templar. Combi rifle and a pistol. Uh, Combi rifle's effective range. Combi rifle has. I can probably tell you it. Yeah, uh, please it's up do. It's 16 inches. Is... I'm not going to... I can't reach, can I? Which is out of... Just no. out of range. <laughs> so, that means, Dean, um, that you're going to get minus three... Um, for effective range. Okay. Minus three because it's a surprise attack. Great. And minus three because of her mimetism. She comes with a total of minus nine to hit. So this is the Fusilier, right? Um, no, that's your um, Infirmera. Oh my god. Because I'm going to split the burst. So two shots are coming his way, but one's coming to the, um, to the Fusilier. Okay, so, so minus nine. Minus nine to your stat. I'm going to get plus three. Which stat is this? Uh, ballistic skill, BS. Because <laughs> it's going to feel like BS. Good. Four. Um, you left me with four. Four. Uh, I've got 16 on two dice. Okay. So hopefully this should go my way. <gasps> That's a crit. Dean, you just critted me. Yes! <laughs> oh, God. This is the great. Uh, oh, no. Dean, you just critted me. <laughs> you can't do that. That's cheating. <laughs> Right, okay, so <laughs> I can't believe you could have been before. <laughs> All right, um, you're getting right in on that four. Yeah, right? I'm okay. so happy. That four saved my life. <laughs> okay, so that's two hits that hit me. Look how has this happened? <laughs> um, so, okay. She has armor of three, it's a combi rifle, so that puts it down to 10. Cool. So I need an 11 or higher on two dice somehow to survive. She's only got one wound, I think. Yep. Okay. Right, ready? I need two 11s. Okay. <sighs> How is this happening? <laughs> How is this happening? No way. Um, yeah. It's not. God damn. God damn. How has this happened? Look. She tried to do something and it didn't work. <laughs> Dean, <absolutely. laughs> That is so mean. Okay, coming to the rescue, it's Paramedic Zanshi. Here we go. Uh, so I'm going to spend an order. And my Zanshi is going to move. She's going to vault over this car. It's going to look pretty sick. She's going to vault over this car and shoot my sniper with a, with a med kit. Ooh. So you can you can bend your movement in this. So like you can't really do it with this because it's rigid, but you can do like a parabolic jump, for example. So or you can just keep moving as long as it's vulnerable. So because this is less than high, half height, this little gap here, I can jump over. Um, so now she's going to shoot a med kit. She's within eight inches, so she gets plus three. Her ballistic skill, as the first time we uses energy on this match, is uh, eleven. So she needs a fourteen or lower to hit. Okay. <sighs> Ooh. Good. And now, um, my Honda needs to pass a physical unit or she dies. <laughs> oh, no. Physical stat. So she needs an 11 or lower. So okay. it's just over 50-50 uh, whether or not this character is dead. Okay. Oh, my God. Guess who's back? Oh, no. Back again. <laughs> Can't believe it. Honda okay. ambush unit is back. <sighs> Tell a friend. Cool. Okay. 
I mean, she has to shoot again, right? <laughs> you had a four. There's no way you're getting that again. All right. Uh, okay. Same thing. Oh, we didn't actually do the oh, shot yeah. into him yet. Sorry, let's just do that quickly. Because um, everything happens at the same time, so she would have gone that shot as well. So uh, she had a 16 to hit. And okay. You can't roll off because you're facing the wrong way. Uh, so that hits. So your Priscilla is going to take a bullet. Cool, great. It's a marksman rifle. Yeah. Which is a damage of 13. So you need a 13 or higher. Is or if you sit here, there's one He's unconscious. It was going Shout out to my sniper. so well. She almost died, but she's back. Okay, so now I'm going to put three bullets into your goddamn doctor. No! Okay. We're going to see how you like that one, Dean. <laughs> can, 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 can he dodge? Um, yes, he can dodge. Now, we haven't done a dodge yet. Why is dodging useful? Why would you dodge instead of shooting back? Because if you succeed at a dodge, you get to move your unit, which is very handy because it means that you can get out of um, harm's way. So Great. you're going to do dodge instead. Yeah, absolutely. I don't want to risk this again. Uh, okay, so let me just check once again how mimetism works. <laughs> okay, so your dodge, mm -hmm. you just get your flat stat. Cool. So that's another reason why you might use dodge because you're not going to suffer the same penalties that you would as shooting back. Um, so you you've now got a much better chance of surviving this one. Okay. Um, so, you've got a physical stat of... 10. 10, so you need a 10 or lower. Uh, I've got my plus three, so I need a 16 or lower on three dice. Five. I... That's a six and a 10, so you get hit twice. Did I not dodge? No! Well, you did, but I shot you before you could, basically. <laughs> no! So you succeeded at your own stat, but you didn't succeed against the bullets that were coming towards you. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> okay. So that's two shots of a marksman rifle. Um, armor on your hospitalia is... Why do I keep calling him that? Infirmera. Uh, it is, I think, two, maybe one. Two. Okay, so 13 minus two. Uh, so you need... Uh, 11. 12. 11 or higher. Yeah. Uh, 12 or higher. Yeah, 12 or higher. Okay. Two, two dice. One of them was a uh, higher, the other one not quite. Uh, lethal. Absolutely lethal from the marksman. Okay. Again. So, this is turning my turning into my favourite team. Alright. I'm in um, a bit of a messy situation right now. A little bit, I'll be honest. Um, here's what we're gonna do. My guy with the supply box here mm -hmm. is gonna move and deploy means that he's going to go one, two, four. So he's just going to go down the stairs. Uh, and on the way, oh, he's, he's gone <laughs> under the stairs. No, oh, get out of here. Um, on the way, he's going to drop down a line. So he's just going to put it, uh, he's going to basically place it. Actually, you know what? In that case, I'll do a, I'll do a complete movement. Just gonna, I'm just going to firm up this supply box. So he's going to move all the way over there and he's going to drop a mine down there. Then I'm going to spend another regular order. So wait, how many have I done so far? So I did, um, I did my, my lieutenants move away and shoot with the lieutenant order. Then I shot with my Honda twice and then I moved to this guy. Cool. So now he's just going to move again and he's going to go the full eight inches come all the way back here to safety cool then i'm gonna move this zanshi he's gonna do a full move over to here um then one more move he's gonna go four here uh and then i'm going to go prone i think so this is not something that we've talked about before but uh, you can spend, do you have to spend an entire order? One sec. Going prone. So I have to do it at the start of my movement, so I'm gonna spend my last order to go prone. Which basically means that I'm gonna put a little token here. This character is now the height of her base. So basically she's invisible to anyone who can't get around this barrier. Also, she can't see above it because she's 
literally just lying down like this. Okay. Um, that is my second turn, Dean. Over to you. Pass the torch. And so I need to think... That is a face of pain, <laughs> I need to think hard about what to do, because not in a good situation at all. Uh, two of my guys are unconscious. One of them's wounded. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go hard on... The main thing here is that, yes, they're unconscious, but they're not dead. So if you can get rid of the threat, which, I mean, you've already spent enough effort on so far, like, I mean, maybe that's sunk cost fallacy, but <laughs> if you've spent enough effort trying to kill my lieutenant already, you might as well finish him off. Uh, yeah, okay. So if you, can, if you can get him dropped, then you're completely safe to just revive those two with, uh, with your paramedic. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Thanks, thanks, enemy soldier, for helping me out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Keep I... your friends closer. Your enemies closer, Dean. I'm gonna shoot you. Um, With who? This guy. Okay. Shoot, shoot that guy. Uh, you're gonna, gonna use the. He's got the multi rifle, right? Yep, multi rifle. Uh, and you know what I'm gonna do this time with the multi rifle? What are you gonna do this time? I'm with not the gonna do the you? burst. You can do a double action. Double action. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, risk it. Would you like some more advice? Yes, please. I've only got one wound left. <laughs> That's true. So all that would do was oh, yeah. it would make me dead instead of unconscious, but because I'm so far away from all of my paramedics. You're right. It might not be that big a deal. You're absolutely right. You know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do, Dean? I'm going to use uh, burst mode again. You're going to use burst mode? Burst mode. Oh, now there's an idea. <laughs> OK, um, we already know the stats. Uh, it's minus three to uh, you because of mimetism. Mm -hmm. um, and flat for me because I'm out of effective range, but you get effective range, so we're flat stats to get together. Cool, 14. So this is my 13, I think. Yes, it is. Here we go. Can I get a crit, please? What have we got, Dean? We got 20, four and six. Four and six, and what have I rolled, Dean? <sighs> Roll a six. Do you know what that means, Dean? <laughs> That's actually a draw, which means that nobody succeeds. I'll take that. I'll so take that. So at least that. you didn't get shot. Yeah. At least you didn't get shot. You That's take true. Your, take your victories where you can get them. That's true. With that said, I'm going to shoot you again. Okay. <laughs> you could use your lieutenant order, to be fair, because you're using him. Yeah. Lieutenant order. Let's try again. Burst mode. Three Guns. shots. Lucky 14. Now I've rolled a five. You rolled a nine, nine, which means that you've hit me. Yes. Um, the 16 and the 19 are fails. Cool. So it's one hit. Get out of here. Uh, so if this succeeds, then he is unconscious. I've got such an itchy nose because he's got that <laughs> hay fever, which is making the whole don't touch your face thing very difficult. Real difficult. Okay, so um, damage on that is... 13. 13. And it halves my armor because it's armor piercing, which means that I need to roll... Um, 13 minus two, I need to roll a 12 or higher. Okay. Here we go. Oh. That is once again, Dean, a big fat 20. A big fat 20. Oh, God. You hate to see it. I mean, I love to see it, but you hate to see it from Dean's perspective. What are you thinking, man? I need to take you out. <laughs> but I'm wasting so much and that supply box is about to be taken. It's currently 2-0, but you're very focused on what's going on over here. Yeah. It's almost like I planned it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, I'm gonna do something different. I am getting my Knight of Justice. Oh, thank God for that, dude. <laughs> She's been sat there reading the newspaper, doing absolutely nothing. My she's the most powerful unit on the board. She's she is. been chilling, dude. Yep. Absolutely bugger all. So she's gonna she's gonna do um two movements. Okay. To so she's gonna use her full movement range. Yeah, yeah. To get Which is eight inches, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. And I realise this will give you a chance to shoot me. Um not your with, prone. She can't see you. He might. Okay. Although no, he's facing away. Cool. This person though. Ooh. Has a bit, Ooh. Of a bit of a shot. Didn't see that cheeky bugger over there. Uh, however, I will point out that they are crap. <laughs> <laughs> Ace. And you are completely loaded up with armor, and I don't have any armor. Well, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Move here. So she's going straight down the center of the board. Straight so I'm, 
I'm going to react. So uh, basically, at the point where you crossed this little um, area here, this person would have seen you. So they're going to fire um, looking over there. OK. 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 So you did a full movement, which is uh -huh. going to roll. Yeah. Going to put that down. <laughs> um, I am going to go ahead and guess that I'm out of effective range, because it only goes up to a 16, I think. Can you check the combi rifle for me? 16. Let's have a look. Combi rifle. Oh, maybe not. Uh, 8 to 16. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, so, in effective range, so it gives me a plus three, um, and the Zanshi has a ballistic skill of 11. So I'm gonna roll a 14 or lower to hit. See what we get. That's five, so it hits. It is a damage of 13. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got armor of five. So... <laughs> so you need a nine or higher. And yeah. You've got two wounds. So I'm I'm not feeling too nervous for you. Nine or higher. Nineteen. That'll do you. I'm okay. You are very much okay. What <laughs> Good. are you gonna do with your last two actions, Dean? Nice. I am going to uh you know, quite frankly, shoot you. You're uh, gonna shoot me? Yeah. Sure, you don't want to stab me. That's true, actually. I should, I should, I should come sh what? stab you. I want you to look at this model, Dean. <laughs> and I want you to have a wild guess at what she's good at. Okay. Oh, it's not focusing. Uh, there uh, we go. Have I'm... a wild guess at what she's good at. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, you're right. I am going to stab you. So I'm going to go over. Yeah. So. I'm going to get a, a nice cinematic combat angle here. So, vaulting is like part of the short movement, right? Yeah, so basically, if it's if it's less than half your height, you can basically just ignore it okay. when you're moving. Okay, cool. So. so you've got the first six inches of movement, right? Yeah, it's right so, there. <laughs> cool. So she is going to shoot you Okay. Um, as you try and charge her. Mm -hmm. She's not very good at close combat, Dean. Cool. That's why I recommended you might use that. <laughs> hey, hey. Um, so it's one die versus one die. Uh -huh. um, you're in effective range, so I get a plus three. Do you have any kind of mimetism or anything on her? Uh, no, martial arts. Uh, Martial arts makes you even better at uh, close combat. Great. <laughs> Excellent. So, um, I am going to be rolling a ballistic of 13 plus 3 is a 14 or lower. And you physically cannot fail. Nope. Um, but we're going to look at a cool new stat here. Yeah. Which is, um, you have 23 close combat if this ever focuses. There we go. 23, which means um, the... A 20 is a crit, but also a 19 and an 18. So like if you minus the three, it's a bit weird to work out in your head, but if you minus the three that are, that are over the 20, yeah, that's how many crits you get, right? Cool. So basically if you get like a 17 or higher, it's a crit, anything else is a success. I can't wait. So you physically cannot fail, uh, whereas I very much can. So you just need to roll higher than me. Come on, get a basically. crit, get a crit. I'm rolling. That's not a crit, but I didn't fail. Uh, Wait. That's an 11, which is higher than your success. So you have been shot again. But it's the exact same roll, so you okay. need a 9 or higher okay. to avoid the wound. No! Dean Abdi! Ah! Okay. You go down to one wound. Yep. On your Knight of Justice. Mm -hmm. I think she has two wounds, but correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right, two wounds. But she is now in uh, base base combat. Okay. Um, as part of the reaction, I mean, actually, I'm, well, I'm not going to give myself any help here. What I should have done is, whenever a model activates, it can rotate freely. Right, right, right. What I have not done is rotate it in a way that I can react to your next attack from me. So, because, because we're being nice to Dean on his first game, I'm going to do chess rules, which means that if I didn't rotate it, then it isn't rotated. Which means that all I can do is reset, which means you're rolling unopposed to hit me. Sweet, sweet. I'm going to stab you again. Okay, so I'm going to reset. Okay. Uh, I'm also prone, so <laughs> I'm probably just going to unprone myself <laughs> as part of the reaction. Cool. Oh, wait, no. Can I even do that? I don't think I can even do that, Dean. Ooh. I'm prone. I'm lying down, just like... <laughs> just oh! Seeing a giant sword above you. Dean Abdu, I, I couldn't see you. Oh, yeah. I was facing a wet... Take away that wound. <laughs> I have cheated, everybody. I've just realized I've cheated. Oh, I was prone. I completely forgot about that. It's okay. all right. So, ignore that wound. Okay. 
Hit me with a sword. <laughs> twice. <laughs> Hit you with a sword. Twice? Well, I mean, okay, so roll one dice just to see if you crit. Okay. If you get 17 or higher. Yes, you do. So you do three wounds to me. <laughs> three wounds? Yeah. Oh my lord. So, um, that means that, oh god. So three wounds versus, is it a double action CC weapon? Let me double check. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is it? No, if you go back to your unit profile, I'll tell you. There it is. Double action CC weapon. Yeah. Yeah, but is that what she's wielding? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> uh, I am going to say yes. Double action CC weapon. Okay. So that means that I'm rolling against the damage, which is your physical stat. Okay. Her physical stat is... Her physical is 14. 14. So I'm rolling against 14, minus one, because of my armor. Okay. So I need a 14 or higher, three times, and if any of them hit, I am immediately dead. Okay. Not just unconscious, immediately dead, because they're double action. So... <laughs> I need this success in my life right now. <laughs> so what did I say? 13 or higher? 14 the or higher? 14 or higher, yeah. 14 or higher. On all three dice. Here we go. I'm going to zoom right in so we can see every single die roll. Oh, it's a 14 and a 20. What's the other one? One. Oh, <laughs> it's a one. It's a goddamn one. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it, Dean. She was so close. Oh. Yeah. She was so close. And the, the crowd one. goes wild. Absolutely annihilates her. She is completely out of the game. So you've cleaved her in half, basically. Uh, we're just going to put her over here in dead town. I need to, and you should run into the Eurogame studio to grab the big old sword that they've got. <laughs> you should be wielding a sword right now. Um, so I'm going to take away that prone. Uh, that supply box was never mind, so you're free to grab it. Um, yeah. I'm going to take away one of my regular orders and put it back in the, uh, in the pile because she's completely dead, so she can never come back. Uh, and you have one action remaining, or was that your last one? Uh, that was my last one, yeah. Okay. That's we are good. now going into the final round. Dean, it's still 2-0. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But at least you're getting somewhere. So now you've got a supply box in range. Yeah. Um, and there's also, I mean, this guy's over here, so you could technically go after him. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to hand the camera over to you. Mm -hmm. so it's my active turn. So I'm just going to check my troops. So one, two. Yeah, I've only got one dead. Nobody's unconscious. So I've got uh, six orders and a lieutenant. So, 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 what do we do from here? What do we do from here? Okay, um, I mean, the tempting thing is to shoot you with my flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> but I might just keep that trained on the stairs just in case. I think you're, you can technically see him. So it would be good to set him in a way where he can see both the stairs. And the... I don't know if you've zoomed in on the bum of this guy, but he's got a very perky armoured bottom. I mean, I am now. Look at that. Look at that cake. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I don't care about my left hand. He's done. Um... I'm going to spend an order to move my um, shotgun unit. And he's going to use a full order of motion to go up the stairs. So he's going to go one and two to vault over. Uh, and then up to six. So use five to go to the top of the stairs. Um, and yeah, he's just going to stay there. No, no, he's going to go around the corner like that. He's in a little bit of cover. Uh, so that one hopefully is safe. So that's one order. Then this guy here is going to move up to that. He's going to use a full movement to just move up to this little avenue here. So I've got vision. Then my sniper. Currently can't see your Knight of Justice, which I'm not a big fan of, if I'm honest, Dean. So what she's going to do is she's going to pop out and shoot. So I'm going to move her 
over to this little ridge, and she's gonna fire, and it's over eight inches, right? Yes, it is. She's gonna fire, um, oh, actually, is it 16? What's her, what's her effective range? What is her effective range, Dean? That is the question. I hope it's not anything that Yeah, Yeah, eight plus, great. Good. Okay, so, she's gonna fire at your Knight of Justice. Your Knight of Justice can react, um, and normally you're supposed to be pointing this out, but I'll let you know that your Infirmara is obviously... Oh no, he's unconscious. Never he's mind. unconscious, yeah. Never mind, okay, cool. Yep. So your Knight of Justice can react to the movement. Okay. Do. Uh, dodge. You're gonna dodge? Dodge. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot at you, so you're shooting against my dodge. Uh, I've got three bullets against you. Great. Um, she has a ballistic skill of 13. Um, and she's within range, which turns that into a 16. You are going to be rolling your physical stat. Whoops, I dropped my die. Which is 40. 14? Yep. So it's 16 v 14, but I've got three dice to your one. Let's roll them in here, I guess. Are you... No way. <laughs> That's three hits. <laughs> cool. 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 Yep. Great. Cool. Great. Good. Great. Yeah. Good. Cool. Yeah. Good. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> Give me these three die. So that's three hits. Uh, marksman rifle has a damage of thirteen. Okay. Um, your armor is five. Five. Which yeah. Down to an eight. Uh, you're not in cover, so you need a nine or higher on all three. Nine or higher. All right. Not too bad. Too bad odds. Well, you need a nine or higher on two. It's your survival one. So Nine, you take a wound. Ten. Cool. Okay. She's on one wound. Cool, 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 cool. Um, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, thing is, I feel mean, but if I kill your Knight of Justice, then you can't get that supply box. I know. I know. I'm basically completely buggered because all I'll have left is these two fusiliers. Now, Dean, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to like preemptively do a pre like post match analysis, but. Do you think the fact that you have four troops in this one corner has been a bit of a hamstring for you? Um, I want to say that I made some bold decisions throughout okay. the game, okay. uh, and they didn't exactly play out how they wanted to play out. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you know, yeah. we take we take constructive criticism. We roll. With it. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's going to shoot you again. <laughs> okay. So cool. same stats, unless you are doing something other than dodge. Uh. See, my shoot skill is the same as the physical. <laughs> Although I've got mimetism and cover, which would be minus six. So I'm going to dodge. <laughs> I'm going to dodge. Okay, so your physical is what again? Sorry, 14. 14, yeah, yeah. Uh, against my 16s. It's one. That's three hits. <sighs> <laughs> Kill. Okie dokie. Uh, oh, he's dropping his <laughs> dice. <laughs> Oh, it's like putting your dog down. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, there we go. Got it, I got it, I got it. All right, all right. So, what did I need again? Uh, nine or higher, right? Yeah. Oh, higher than that'll nine. That'll do you. Yeah, that'll do you. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right. How many things have I done? Was it just the two sniper shots this time? Uh, and then you moved the person up there. Yeah. Did I move this guy as well? Oh yeah, and that person yeah. too. I've not been paying attention to <laughs> So I've got three left. Um, hmm. Let's see. I think... Just gonna check something. Oh, that's interesting. Oh no, that's not interesting. <laughs> So I'm going to spend one order to move uh, this unit over here. Um, which, to be fair, so I forgot to bring the silhouettes in. Uh, he is still the height of his model, so um, you technically do have a line of sight on him with this, this person here. Okay. With this Knight of Justice. So you can react to his full movement. He, he will not be rolling against you. He'll be unopposed. Cool. Uh, I want to dodge. You want to dodge? I want to dodge out of the way. Okay. Dodge. Right. So Dodge. You just need to roll a 14 or lower. Yep. Okay. Four. Sweet. So you can move. You can you can go prone. Uh-huh. 
And you can move up to half your first movement range. Which is... Dodge. Unless you've got any things that say dodge plus. Uh, no. Cool. So, six. I just want to... Can so I... you can move three inches, basically. Can I hop over and go prone? Yeah, you could go straight to the supply box and go prone. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. That sounds like a good... That, that was... Yeah, that was strong. Didn't you? <laughs> do you want to put yourself in a way that I can't see you? Because like, you're the height of your base right now, so if you go like... <laughs> I mean, if you go uh, like here, then he can't see you. Okay. Um, so I can't physically shoot you right now. And neither can that person, actually. Yeah, yes. that, that, that one sucks. Okay, that one's fine. Uh, cool. Yeah. Good. But wiggle. I've got one order left. Oh, you forced my hand in. <laughs> use my regular order to move my... Uh, no. Oh, no. Over here. Oh, no. No. So... <laughs> <laughs> Let me just remember how flamethrowers work. Okay, Dean. Sorry, I had to do a little Googling there because I haven't used the flamethrower before. You forced my hand, Dean. I didn't want to. Um, so I auto-hit. So you can react but it's going to hit you regardless. <laughs> so you can do a normal hit roll, or you can try and dodge, which will stop it hitting you, but you'll get a minus three. I'm going to dodge. Okay. I'm going to dodge. So minus three to your physical skill is... It's left me with 11. 11. So you need an 11 or lower. Okay. Okay. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Right. You've been hit by a heavy flamethrower. <sighs> Uh, uh, and a heavy flamethrower um, does 14 damage against your armor save. So... It hits once. Okay. So you need to do... So it's a uh, 9, so 10 or higher. 10 or higher. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Jeez, Louise. Uh, I'm not going to use my left hand order. I'm going to pass it over to you. That, so that was my, ooh, that was my final, final turn of the game. Okay. Just put literally everything out of the way last. Cool. Oh my god. I'm just trying to get the. I don't know why I'm pushing them, I'm done. <laughs> Alright, so that was my final turn, and I finished things at 2 0. I need to move that over with him. I finished things at 2 0. So as long as Dean can take one of my boxes off me, he wins. Because he's got his supply box. Did okay. you do that? No, you just dodged. So you, you need to spend at least one action taking the box. Okay. Oh, so I need to, I've still not got that yeah, box. Yeah, you need to do a short skill, which okay. I can react against. Well, great. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do short skill to grab the box. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, I'm going to react with my uh, flamethrower, which auto hits. So you need to do another 10 or higher. <sighs> oh, my God. Okay. This is getting tense, Dean. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I mean, that's yours, so you don't need to, like, unless you want to use her to get one of the other boxes, you could just leave her still. Well, and that's safe. <laughs> I was just going to go on a rampage with her to go all the way up here and just, like, take well, that first. Well, you could now. try and use the lieutenant to get to get this one instead, because this one's closer. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's up to you. No, that's what I'm going to do. That's why I've just left my lieutenant there, because, like I said, I'm just going to flip between lieutenant and lieutenant. Um, that's why I've left my lieutenant there, because he's just in range to react to whatever's going on. <laughs> what do you reckon, Dean? I feel like <laughs> I'm I'm gonna struggle here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use my left hand to 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 go around this way, you know, okay. around the back. Uh, so six. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna move around that way. Okay. He's um, gonna shoot me. I can only react. Well, I could I could technically react with this person, but I mean the range isn't great. Oh, I thought you were gonna <laughs> react with that person. Oh yeah, and that person, of course, but also this person. Okay, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. okay well, let me move them to, to here. Cool. That was okay, a short so move. You're over there. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to react by firing with my Jujak and my um, Lieutenant. Uh, my ambush unit is not going to react. He's going to idle. 
because he's still in camouflage. Okay. So I'm going to keep my camouflage. So what are you doing for your second short skill? Uh, I am... Can I shoot you from here? You could definitely shoot this guy, right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, you know? Because if you can't, then I can't shoot you because we have to be able to see each other. Yeah! I'm going to shoot you! <laughs> okay, that makes sense. I'm going to shoot you with my multi rifle. Uh, and I'm going to do... I've made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go... I'm going to... Because technically, you can play for a draw by just killing him. <laughs> Why did I leave him so exposed? <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, because she could shoot as well, really, couldn't she? Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot, obviously to finish off the order, I'm gonna shoot with this one. Uh, I'm gonna go... I'm going armor piercing. Gonna do the burst. Right, go, okay. Go, go. The supply box is considered to be controlled by a player. If at the end of the game that player has a model but not a marker carrying it, that trooper can be in a null state. Oh, cannot be in a null state and cannot be in silhouette contact with an enemy model. Which means... Um, oh god. Would it be a tie? I think it would be a tie. <laughs> because I would go down to one. Oh, I've been so stupid. <laughs> oh god. Cool. Yeah, you're going get, to get a barrage of bullets heading your way. <laughs> um, oh, okay, no, that's fine. Um, all right, I've already declared you. Okay, so I'm going to fire back with this guy. So what, what are we doing first? Because uh, you need to split your burst because, well, you don't have to, but you can either put all three of your shots into this guy. If you do that, then this person can shoot at you unopposed. Oh, you got a good point. Okay, one burst into that, two bursts into that. Okay. Uh, all right, fine. Okay. So, which, I guess, do that one first, right? Uh, yeah, so um, we're rolling against each other. It was the same stats as before, so it was... Um, do you remember what they were? It was... I, I think it was... You got minus three plus three, and I've got flat, so it's just our, it's just our flat skills. Flat, so yeah. 14, cool. Uh, versus 13. Cool. So that's a fail for me and a success for you, which means it's one hit into my lieutenant. Yeah. That's with your armor-piercing rifle. Yeah. Okay, and it's 13 damage. Uh, yep. Yeah. So 13 minus two. Um, so I need to get a 12 or higher. Oh no. <laughs> Things oh, are coming no. up the house with an old <laughs> <Dini> boy here. <laughs> To be fair, <laughs> he's kind of run his course now. Yeah. Because everyone around him is either dead or run away. So, <laughs> cool. uh, so he is currently unconscious. So I'm going to remove that wound. Cool. Happy days. That didn't focus at any point during that, but that's fine. Okay. okay. Uh, so other two bursts. Going into that fella over there. Yes, they are. Uh, and my one hit is going against you. So that is my Jujack. Uh, he's going to use his um, his combi rifle because it's better range. Okay. Uh, let's check the range on that, actually. That's, uh, yeah, that's within 16 for both of us, which mm -hmm. is fine. This is our effective ranges. So we both get plus three. I'm in cover, which gives you a minus three to hit. Okay. Um, you are not in cover because okay. you've come out around the corner. Uh, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get plus three, you're gonna get your flat stat. Okay, 14, yeah. cool. So it's, ooh, 17 versus 14. Ooh. And you've got two dice. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. One hit. That is one hit. One hit. That is one hit, okay. <laughs> okay, all right, so now I need to do an armor save. Okay. Um, so that was your armor piercing rifle. Mm -hmm. My Jujak has three armor, so you round it up, so I've got two armor left. Okay. Um, so it's 13 again. Yep. Minus two is 11, so 11. I need 12 or higher. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, oh my dang. god. Praise the Lord. Okay. okay. Good. Good, good, good. Excellent news. Excellent news. Cool. Um, 
So that was how many orders? That was just the one. That was the one order. You might as well make that your lieutenant. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, true, true, true. Um, Do you want to check how many you've got left? So you've got, um, how many troops have you got still alive? One, two, three, four. Yeah. So yeah, so now you've got four regular orders remaining. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to do with them? Uh, well, I'm going to go back over to my Knight of Justice. Oh. Uh, and she's going to use... Tactical tip here. Are you playing for a draw or a win? I'm just playing for a draw. You're playing for a draw? <laughs> Dean, come on now. Hey, right. I mean, the people at home did not watch this, <laughs> what has this been, like, a, at least two hour video. I mean, okay. Yeah, at least two hours. So, <laughs> I reckon you should at least go for a win here, dude. Come on. I feel like you're playing me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, hang on. Let me let me think about things. Let me think about things. Dean Adu, thinking about things. So that's, that's Coming to Netflix one. next year. Two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, fine. I'm 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 gonna. I'm gonna play to win, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna play to play win. Play to win. <laughs> so. Till you die. This guy is also not in danger anymore, by the way. This guy over here. That's true. He is closer. And he is closer, but so I feel like. He's got a worse chance of killing me. Yeah. He's closer, so it's up to you. Maybe you see how many moves it would take to get him in range. Yeah, because his is 4-4. Four, four. So how, four, how four? many moves no. does it take for you to get into a position where you can shoot with your left hand? The lieutenant. So, the lieutenant. Talk me through it, Eddie. Talk it's me through good. it. With the lieutenant, it's going to take me uh, one regular move right here, mm -hmm. uh, and then just move the, so it's, it's another regular move to go about up here on the stairs. Okay, so if he was on the stairs, so just remember he was in this corner. If yeah. he was on that stair there, he would not be able to see me. No. So, so the first two moves would be spent. Yeah. So then, you have two moves to try and hit me. Mm -hmm. So with the other dude, you've got two chances to, to kill and take the box. With the other dude, what can he do? He could technically get pretty high up the stairs in one move. So theoretically, you'd have three chances to hit me. So the, the maths of it is, do you want three attempts to kill me with the guy with the, with the worst odds? and the crapper gun? Or do you want just two attempts, but with the big daddy himself? I want to, I want it, oh. I want some action. I want some hard hitting action with a big old boss trying yeah. to take down another big old boss. Big old boss coming in. <laughs> so, one move, you okay. get, you're moving. All right, in that case, so let, let me just see. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the cameras to test this because that makes more sense to me. Um, you are currently, Oh, okay. I'm going to take the cable off because I'm, I'm sure <laughs> the battery will last. So you are currently, uh, if we've got this guy here, um, can, have you moved your hand for me, please? Yeah, I can see your head right now. Okay. Although, I'm going to have to do it with my eyes. <laughs> take the camera for a sec, Dean. I need to see if I can actually see you with my, with my G jack. I can't. I can't. So this guy can't react. Great. Perfect. However, this dude, although he has a shotgun, he can react because he can get a full sight of you okay. from here. So, um, if you're doing a full movement, he can shoot unopposed. Okay. So, this guy is wielding. Uh, he is my Hundan. No, no, he's not. Sorry, he's my Guilang uh, Skirmisher. He's got a boarding shotgun, which has an effective range of... Um, and this is in hit mode. It's got an effective range of up to 16 before it take, starts taking minuses. But anything over 16 and it will take a minus three. So he's gonna take a minus three to hit, although you're there. I can just hit you when you get there. So I'm, go I'm gonna be at flat. Okay. You'll be at flat zero. Okay. Um, I should have rotated this <laughs> scenery because it's made a thin card. Um, I'm gonna be at flat zero with a ballistic skill of 11. 
with a with a burst one because it's a reaction. Okay. So this is to try and hit you. Okay. You've got one wound, so if this hits, it's a big deal. So I need an eleven or lower to hit you with my shotgun. Okay. Oh, and it's a surprise attack. Oh, but that only affects. If you. We've been playing it the whole round as you get a minus three, so I'm just going to say it's minus three. So, so this is just a flat eleven. Okay. Which hits. So you take a bullet to your lieutenant. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so the, the boarding shotgun in hit mode has a damage of fourteen. It's armor piercing. So, half my armor. Half your armor. What's your armor? Four. So two now. So you need a 13 or higher to survive. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Okay, 13 or higher to survive. Great. Oh, Dean Abdu! But it's fine, Dean. Yes, you're right. You've got your other trooper. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm giffing that. You turning around and going, yes, you're right. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> that was amazing. All um, right. Um, so he would have got, he would have done his full movement and then gone unconscious. Okay, so. so him all the way over. Oh, but now here's another question, Dean. Do I use the med kit to do revive him? Do you use the med kit to try and revive him, or do you just no. use the secondary troop? No, this is it. This is like an end, end game situation. It was like <laughs> the soldiers have just saw their lieutenant going down, and they're like, we need to take these if, guys out. If, if Johnny. <laughs> Johnny Private gets this done. You've got to give him a, a promotion <laughs> after this. It, yeah. Okay, so that was your second order spent. Yeah. So we're going to move that one over with your lieutenant one. Uh, Just to keep track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what am I doing here? Uh, so you've spent the second one, right? So yeah. Just flip it over. Move it to, there you go. <laughs> Same thing we've been doing for the whole game. <laughs> Look okay. right, I'm panicking. I just want to win. I just want to win. <laughs> okay, so now we're switching over. Um, it's literally just, you've got like, yeah, you've got two people alive right now. Yeah. I guess if you screw up with him, at least your Knight of Justice can try and shoot him to go for the draw. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So the odds of you at least getting a draw are relatively all right. Okay. <laughs> right. This. So this fella, he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna go round and up the stairs. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pan around here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Incredible. Yeah. We're this. We're here. We are. The eyes from the skies. <laughs> Is that a full movement? That is a full movement. Okay, I'm going to use movement. my reaction to rotate. Okay. Just so I've got you both in 180 line of fire. Cool. Uh, so this is your last last chance, right? Yep. Oh, Dean, I've just realized something. <laughs> you need a short skill to be able to pick that up. So you can only get a draw right now. <laughs> okay, that's a game changer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because it's your last order. In that case, because uh, I can only do one thing, um, the uh, the Knight of Justice is probably going to take a shot with the, the Spitfire. So the Knight of Justice will get one extra die because it's a Spitfire, but they'll be at minus three because they're not in effective range and he's behind cover. Okay, cool. Whereas this guy will get three dice, but he's behind cover ineffective range and his opponent isn't okay cover so it's up to you okay we can work out the stats if you want <laughs> so so minus three for me minus three on your um knight of justice would make it for shooting would be 11. so four 11s versus a fusilier who has what is it skill 12 is it uh i believe so yeah uh plus, 12. plus three plus three uh so would be 15. 15, and also I'd get a minus three to my hit. So you're getting one less die, but the odds are way further in your favor. You're right. Fusilier, this is it. <laughs> Here he is, the big boy. Okay. It's time. Cool. Um, so yeah, so my guy is at a minus three, and I'm using my Jujack, who has a ballistic skill of 13, so he's rolling tens, but only on one die. Okay, and I'm 15 or lower. On three. I'm th oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Here we go, Dean. We just, just line up this camera because this is the biggest one okay. of the entire game. This is whether or not I get a win or a draw. Basically. Okay. All right. Let's do it. 15. Crit. That's a crit. <laughs> That's a crit. That is a crit. <laughs> yeah. That is a crit. 
Um, the 12 and the 8 both succeed, right? Uh, yes, they do, yeah, so yeah. So that, my friend, is four armor saves that I have to now pull off. <sighs> four armor saves, which means we might as well... Okay, all right, I'm going to hand it over to you yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. So I might as well just use these dice. Actually, no. I'm going to use blue dice. <laughs> Dirty use one blue, blue dice. Die because I have to. Okay. Okay, so you hit me with a Spitfire. Yep. And a Spitfire has a damage... Statistic. Oh, no, no, it's the Fusilier, right? Oh, no, yeah, it is. It's a combi rifle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Combi rifle has damage 13. Yes. Minus the Jujax armor makes it 10. I need an 11 or higher on all four dice, so I have four 50-50s to succeed on. Okay. And this is whether or not we draw. Yep. Or I win. <laughs> all right. Let's see how this turns out. You don't out. want my one? <laughs> Just. Oof. Okay. First roll is a success. And he's got two wounds, by the way. Okay. So you need, so two, need of two, two wounds. Yeah, you need two of these to go. Second roll is a success. Oh no. <laughs> Come on. So if these two both don't fail, I win. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on! The big daddy victory for the Yu Jing. I never actually said I'm playing as Yu Jing, by the way. You're playing as Panache earlier. What? What a game, Dean. What a game. Did you have fun? I lost. <laughs> but did you have fun? I did. That was epic. That was, that was pretty good, right? <laughs> this, uh... Uh, we've been playing Infinity Code 1, which is the um, newest edition of the rule sets for Infinity, but it is aimed at beginners. The full fat N4 which is like all of the rules for the for the, the big boys, comes uh, at some point soon. But yeah, we've been playing Code 1 for now, which is like the um, starter set. You can buy the starter set, Operation Cold Strum, right now uh, on their website or any mini games um, retailers that you use. Uh, I will put a link in the description below to um, the site itself. But yeah, what a game it's been. Let's do a little post-match analysis here, Dean. Post-match analysis. Woof. So... I mean, the big, biggest mistake that I quite obviously made was yeah. uh, being way too focused on this lieutenant. Shout out to my lieutenant for just <sighs> annihilating you. One thing that you learn quickly in Infinity, and there are games which will give you points for kills, which will, would have made that a little bit different. But one thing you'll learn quickly is it's not about how much you can shoot, it's about how many of those objectives you, you can secure. Mm. So for an example, we might have been doing like a quadrant one, which means that we would split the middle of the board into four sections then whoever has the most units in each section would have got the, the points for that. So that mm. would have been a, another one that we could try out. Um, this one we were playing the supply boxes. So I ended up, so I mean we can do the scores, but essentially I got four points to your two. Yeah. Because I had two boxes under my control and you only had the one. So essentially, um, essentially it was a lot closer than it looked, I think. Because I, th I think if you'd spent more time actually paying attention to the objectives, that could have been a really close match. Yeah. And obviously we were both playing with 15 points, so you know, like it was all even. Uh huh. Um, I think the other other mistake I made yeah. was not using the Knight of Justice sooner. Oh my god, she sat there for like two <laughs> turns doing nothing. That was so silly of me. Yeah, I was just like, oh, I've got to watch out for the Knight of Justice. She's she's tough to take down, and she can kill anyone that she looks at. And I was like, oh no, he's not using her. Okay, that, that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> that was. But silly you know, you learn. That was your first full True. match in Infinity. To be completely fair to you, like that, I think considering it was that close mm -hmm. in the end, like pretty good, pretty good going. Yeah, but that yeah. is Infinity. Um, as I said, N three is out now. Code one is out. We'll put some links in the description to those. Um, we've been playing as the Yujing and Pan Oceania factions, but there are loads of other factions in the game. Code 1, there are just the two others because they've sort of stripped it down to make it more simple. But any models that you buy for Code 1 will work for the full war set if you decide to upgrade later down the line. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Dice Breaker Let's Plays. Um, if you enjoyed what you see, then you're going to see some videos popping up at the bottom of the screen where you can see some more of our content. Uh, but a big thank you to Dean Abdi for joining me. Um, you can catch him on Dungeon Breaker, which I'll put a link to on the video right now. But do you want to do a little shout out to all the things that you do, Dean? You, uh, you can see me practically on all the Gamer Network related websites, uh, on the actual physical web pages being on Eurogamer, VG247, Metabomb, uh, 
what else we got? US Gamer. Uh, and then outside of that, if you want to follow, follow me personally, follow me on uh, Twitter, which is at the Dean Abdu, and uh, on my Twitch, which is the Super Arab. There we go. Thank you very much for watching, and thank you for Dean for joining us and for being a very gracious loser. Um, <laughs> this has been uh, Dicebreaker. Head on over to dicebreaker.com for loads of written articles. I'm hopefully going to be writing an article on why I think Infinity is better than 40k, uh, which will be coming up hopefully soon, um, as well as going over to dicebreaker.com myshopify.com if you want to get some lovely lovely dice merch thank you very much for watching have a lovely day.